Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another verse video. Today, we are joined here by all of these lovely players here from my Discord server, and more specifically, SCP-4232, who is going to be our copper player for the video. We're gonna see how he stacks up here in your average gold lobby. So if you guys enjoy this video, consider subscribing, like the video, it would mean a lot to me. And let's get straight into round number one here. All right, some interesting bands here, Thatcher, Jackal, Mira, and Smoke. We're gonna have our copper player on the blue team. So they're gonna be starting out on attack first. And as you guys know, attack is a little bit more difficult here in Oregon. So we're gonna see how he stacks up here against your average gold lobby. All right, here we are in the drone phase here. You can see that our copper player is already bringing their drone just directly into sight. Normally when you're an entry fragger, you wanna to try to bring your drone either to like a position you plan to push in. That way one of your support players is able to clear the area that you want to push in for you that's called a pre-place drone or you're supposed to keep it in spawn and then pick it up and use it for later in the round so one little thing i've already noticed here so far i'm interested to see what sort of push our copper player is going to choose to do i'm guessing maybe a big window push they did spawn over here by junkyard so we'll see but it looks like they could be rotating over for a master push along with power which would be interesting to see we do have Arc repelling in, or at least attempting to repel in through Big Window here. We'll see what he plans to do is he doesn't have any sort of hard breach, so he's not going to be able to get this open. Miz is here with him, but only two grenades, so I'm not really sure how that attic push is going to work out for them. Haps trying to play on top of the Big Window, going to throw down some air jabs to deny the runouts from behind. Our Copper player, SCP, is still trying to figure out where he would like to attack from, repelling up to the roof now. One minute off the clock, and so far, not much has seemed to happen. Miz and Ark literally just staring at an electrified reinforced wall, not sure what to do. They're going to have to have power rotate if they're going to want to open up this wall. But as I say that, Vector is going to get shot and killed. Great shots by Hap here on the window to take him down. That's going to be your Aruni being taken out fairly early. Minute and 40 seconds left on the clock now. Ark's going to take a little bit of damage while he tries to get these off of the wall and there it is and now we're going to see power open that up but this could be bad we do have out here playing on the head glitch and i'm not sure if the attack knows it surely they do now arc going to get that kill onto not but out is still going to take out our copper player so uh, unfortunate timing we kind of missed that but out with just a great angle here the attack just not able to see his head very well and he is farming kills Finally, Ark is able to take him out, but Copper gets a kill on the pap. So it's all up to Ark now in the 1v2. Copper is 50 HP on the other team. So that is good for Ark. But the wall to Attic is not quite opened yet. Ace was not able to fully open up the wall. So Ark's most likely going to have to try to find another avenue of attack here. Osa shields are going to go down. Trying to bait Kai into peeking, but Kai is just going to... Hold strong for now. 30 seconds left on the clock. So Ark's going to have to make a move here in the next 10 seconds if he really wants to make this work. Trying to vault through the hole, but it's not going to work. He's going to have to rotate to one of the windows. Not grabbing the diffuser either. He's going to go straight for the kills now. Rotating towards satellite window. And surely Kai is going to be ready for this as he hears the window get opened. Ark trying to take out the default cam and a vault comes in. The Osa shield... Probably going to deal a good amount of damage to Ark here as he's got no way into Master besides this one door. Five seconds remaining. And wow, a great shot actually by Ark. This is winnable, but Kai just not going to peek. Very smart play by them and a great round by the defense here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see exactly how our copper player died, but it looked like it was just out up on that head glitch in Attic able to take pretty much the whole attacking team out. So lack of drone work there really biting the blue team also i just wanted to mention like make sure you guys aren't throwing any sort of hate to anybody in these videos i've had it happen before it's a little bit weird just remember that these videos are uh, completely meant for fun and we're really just trying to help everybody out here so if i can give some advice to make all these players a little bit better or have them learn something or have you learned something then that's the goal here so make sure you guys are being nice in the comments and if you guys are looking to improve at siege yourself athena and i actually just recently finished our community project six shot academy you guys should definitely check it out with the link in the description and it's basically the best resource to improve in Siege. Him and I got together all of your favorite world champions, pro players, content creators, all of those sorts of people. We got them together and we had them help us make some videos on how you can improve 
So if you guys are interested in improving at Rainbow Six Siege or FPS games in general, make sure you guys check out the link in the description for Six Shot Academy. All right, so one little mistake here, at least I see as a mistake, is SCP, our copper player, is Twitch, but he's actually going to be pushing by Junkyard. Now, the only reason I say this could be a mistake is he does have these Twitch drones that would be very, very useful if he was playing in Bunker where the rest of his team is as he's going to be able to clear out those ADSs from Vector, any sort of Thunderbirds, help with the jammers, etc, etc. But currently, he's going to be trying to push in through the building, not using any of his utilities so far, but it could work out for him. Let's see if he goes and pushes through Freezer, if he can open up some kills for his team here, this could definitely work out. Looks like we've got Vector just cycling cams though, and this could be a problem as we still see SCP as well as actually Pap trying to push down through Freezer. And they're making some good progress right now, already on the bottom of Freezer stairs. And wow, the pre fire coming out from SCP. He's going to take massive amounts of damage and not do any damage onto the other team. That's going to be Thunderbird out, just trying to hold Freezer right now. And even if. She does take some damage. She can easily get healed up again. Cannot say the same for SCP here. Who's going to get downed through the wall. Vector with a wall bang going to take him at, out. But Pap is going to refrag. Uh, not going to get a kill onto Ark with that C4. So that's going to leave Miz all on his own inside of Bunker. And that was a really quick set of kills right there from the defense. 2v5 or 2v4 excuse me now for the attack. And Pap is looking to possibly regroup with Miz. That way they're able to push together. Miz alone inside a bunker with the diffuser right now. Not quite the position you want to be in. With that being said, though, Pap is trying to push down the main stairs. A minute and 10 seconds left. And we'll see if he can get some kills here. Shots are going out. A little bit of damage onto Kai, but not quite enough to kill him yet. And Vector's going to swing onto Ace. And there goes Miz with the diffuser. Pap's going to be forced to rotate off now, trying to run back towards Freezer as a lot of the defense is consolidating on sight, just trying to figure out where he's going to push from. Vector rotating now into Freezer, trying to hold the push in here from Pap. Flashbangs are going to come out. Free fire through the wall. Looks like Kai's got a pistol in his hand, just waiting for the one tap here. We'll see if he gets it. 35 seconds left on the clock. Pap doing what he can. Here comes the pistol. Not going to do enough damage to take Pap out, but he's going to be left on 1 HP, but so will Kai. Vector is going to run in and swing now, shooting the air jab so he's able to push in, and there's the swing. Vector gets the kill just narrowly, and that's going to be the second round now for the orange team. Yeah, so I really think if the... Blue team wants to win some rounds here. They're going to have to try to work together a little bit more, start using their drones, and kind of have more of a, a centralized, coordinated push because it really seems like their push is kind of all over the place. They've got people going in different ways, different parts of the map, and I feel like that's their biggest problem right now. And I feel like SCP could probably benefit a lot from just playing in that like team environment and having someone say, hey, you go here, you do that. You know what I mean? So I feel like a good IGL for the blue team right now would be super powerful. So hopefully someone's able to step up and make that IGO call. All right, here we are with round number three, and this is also going to be the last round of the split here. So SCP, as well as the rest of blue team's last chance here to prove that they are able to win a round. And honestly, this is also their best chance at winning a round as the defense is now going into dining and kitchen. So if the attack ever was going to win an attack round, it really should be this one. Spectating our copper player here. Looks like he's going to try to repel and try to push in here with Ark. I do think, like I said, it's, it's a good idea if you're trying to learn to try to stick near your teammates and see what they're doing and play off of them. So I think this is probably a good strategy. Try to pick someone to push with and make a plan with them and, and try to execute it. And that seems to be what they're doing right now. Ark going to be opening up that window into small tower right now. SCP trying to open up the other one. And it looks like Pap has already droned this out and he's going to hop straight into small tower now. We do see its power droning outside of small, so they should be able to hold down that door into dining. That way, Pap is able to open up the wall, which is what we're going to see him try to do right now. And I believe we have someone just... Wait, Nop is sitting inside a small tower right now. This is this is not good for the attack whatsoever. Is He's going to be able to get an easy kill onto its power. There goes your Nomad, and Nop is still stuck in here as C4 goes out. SCP finally going to get a kill onto out, but... Not with a big double C4 kill. Going to take out SCP and Ark. The entire small tower push practically disabled in one C4 there. 
Hap gonna take a good amount of damage from that C4. Miz gonna get a kill onto Vector. There goes your Malusi, and he's going for two now with Copper swinging that White Hall, pushing up. Both of the attackers are so low on HP now. Miz trying to throw out some flashbangs to make something work here. Going to be tough for him, and yep, as I say that, he's gonna be taken out, and Copper trying to go for another kill here onto Pap. Flashbangs come out. He's trying to bait someone into peeking this hole in the floor, but it just doesn't seem like anyone is wanting to do so. Valkans inside a small tower are going to be giving lots of information onto the defense. And Pap dropping now. Trying to do what he can. But a swing with the deagle from Nop on the double door from Showers Hall will take him out. And that's an 0-3 start to the game with the team with the copper player. Not a great start so far. Taking a look at the scoreboard though. We've got Ark on top for the blue team going 3-2. and two. We've got its power. 0-3 oh, on the bottom. SCP, our copper player, actually not last place. 1-3 and three right now, doing just about as well as the rest of his team. Looking at the orange team, though, out 3-3 three and three on top. And Kai, 0-0 oh oh on the bottom, playing that support role. Gotta love to see it. Also, if you guys have made it this far into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, liked the video. It would mean a lot to me. Also, make sure you guys join my Discord server. The link will be down below in the description. All of these players here joined and are playing because they're in my Discord server. It's completely free to do so, so make sure you guys check that out. But let's hop into our first round now with our Copper Player SCP on defense. I'm really hoping that we see things turn around here. All right, the round has started here. A Banshee in the pocket of SCP still. Not what you want to see. I've been waiting to see where they're going to place it down. Looks like they're not really sure just yet. I'd probably place it in Attic if I were them. I mean, you can place it in here as well, but you are kind of double stacking them as you do have another one just to the left of this door he walked in here. Anyways, though, looks like the orange team is going to be trying to do some sort of a master take. We see out on Thermite droning in through Trophy and Master as well as Kai on ace now they do have two hard breachers in this situation i would strongly advise rotating one of them over to attic probably the ace but or maybe the thermite it really doesn't matter just any of them over to attic that way you have some sort of a split push going on right now is two hard breachers for one wall is a little bit redundant with that being said scp holding down kids bedroom right now trying to stop any sort of a push onto that big window but i don't believe anyone is there just yet Kai and Out are just desperately waiting for the Cades or Bandits, whatever they are. Let's see what they are there. Cades to be taken off of the wall. Hopefully, Vector is able to go below and shoot that off. You can see it's just on the ceiling. Is Vector going to see it? It's, it's right on top of the ceiling, above the wall. Looks like Vector does not see it yet, so they're going to be struggling to open that up. Ark throwing out some Wamai Dis right here, trying to hold down Attic. He's in an interesting spot. I would not want to be in this position if I were him. Potentially, he could impact the hatch and drop. That might be his best option here. Vector finally able to get that Cade off and able to push upstairs. But, oh no, Kai taking out our copper player. Ark going to refrag, though, and take out out. So there goes one of your hard breachers. Nop, a kill onto Pap. He's going to be low HP now, trying to get a floor bank kill. As soon as I switch off of Ark, he's going to grab a kill as well. And Kai, or Miz, going to get a kill onto Kai. Wow, wow, wow. Copper trying to just nade into Attic right now to take out Ark, but these Wamidas are just proving to be too powerful now. Ark's still on 1 HP. He could impact the hatch possibly and try to prone out of here if he so chooses to do so. Miz holding down Bolo spot and Power just holding those white stairs still. Copper trying to get that quick swing. He's got to be careful as Ark's only on 1 HP here. He's got to be careful about how he swings it. Power with a nice kill on Sinop. So it's just Copper left now on top of the breach. 35 seconds left. He's trying to make his way into sight, but Miz is going to be rotating towards that kid shield to try to stop it. Power now peeking the breach, and he's going to trade. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the first round for the blue team going to be won on defense. Let's go. You guys got to remember that this map is a little bit defense-sided. I did say that at the beginning, that our, our cop player was starting on attack. So we may see them start out a little bit rough, but they're already winning. So hopefully things continue like this. All right, so our copper player has spawned in now with Jaeger, Elephant Skin, Iron Sights, I think a Suppressor, and a Laser. So this is one of the most interesting Jaeger setups I've ever seen. I am, yeah, I'm very interested in seeing where these ADS placements are going to be. One on the front door here. I mean, technically not a bad placement. I'm interested to see if they're going to play Bunker at all. It doesn't seem like it. Arc is reinforcing it off, so it does make sense for SCP to 
space out these ADSs a little bit. Now, does that one right there make sense? Maybe not. I'd, I'd maybe place that pillar or inside a freezer, but to each their own. So we actually see Nop all the way over street spawn with the diffuser by himself. He's going to rotate over towards bunker to try to push with the rest of his team. I do want to spectate SCP more this round. I'm interested to see what he is going to do, especially what that is. I'm not sure what that one is. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen that one before. That is the... That is a crazy freezer BP right there, I've got to say. Taking a look at the attack. Out is droning big tower right now, trying to make their way onto those big tower stairs. Kai droning in into tarps right now. Probably, well, actually just going to be taking uh, bunker because I totally forgot that the defense is not holding this whatsoever. Now, Kai going to be able to open up pretty much all of these walls, or uh, ace, excuse me. Kai going to get his drone destroyed by that ace right now. Copper... Behind a Gnosis Shield, just holding down with that Kali. And oh boy, SCP and Pap in a very peculiar position right now. SCP forced to run out of this spot, but oh no, this is not a good spot whatsoever. Failing to check the wall that's just open on uh, Bunker or E-Box. And he's going to get taken out for that. Normally in ranked at high elo, that wall that's aced open usually has head holes in it. So I'm guessing that... He is just not used to seeing that, but oh no, here we go. Vector with a kill on the pap, not with a kill onto someone else. No, a thorn trap is going to take out Vector. Osa goes down now. That is a great kill for the defense, but is it going to be enough now? Great angle here by Ark trying to hold down into Pillar. Nop trying to see if he can possibly get an angle here, but unfortunately for him, no one is going to be peaking power with a great shot, but he might walk straight into the line of sight of someone else, and he does. Out, going to take him out now. Copper pushing into the bomb site. Ark doing a little bit of damage onto out, but he's going to Finca up and regain that HP. Copper now trying to push into Freezer to take out Arcs. Ark going to get one kill onto Nop, so there goes your ace. That's probably the Diffuser as well. Out, trying to hold an angle, but Copper with the swing on Cali will take him out. That's going to be GG's, ladies and gentlemen. The, def or the orange team is going to take it 4-1. to one. We're going to go ahead and switch up the teams now. That way we make sure everything is completely balanced for game number two. And I will meet you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here. We are on border for map number two. We switched up the teams a little bit. I wanted to make sure that this was as close to a real like ranked game as possible. We are recording this in a custom game. So I wanted to basically simulate a real ranked game by switching up all the players and you know, trying to make things as balanced as possible. So hopefully things go a little bit better for SCP this game here on border. Already starting out with some interesting bands from the orange team IQ. I'm not really sure what we're thinking there, but all right. All right. So orange team with some weird bands, IQ and bandit. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is. Blue team with the normal bands, Thatcher and Cade. But let's get straight into round number one here, guys. Let's see if SCP can play a little bit better here on border. All right, looks like Al is trying to possibly spawn peek here on the east balcony. We'll see if that works out for him. Not so far, though. It looks like most of the blue team is going to be trying to push through the armory balcony. Now, this is an interesting setup they've got here. They've got basically a mirror here. I'm guessing so they could try to, like, mute trick. We'll see if it ends up working out for them. Kai is droned and realized what is going on now. And they're going to attempt to get the wall now. There goes the Mira as they're just going to simply melee it. I kind of saw that one coming. Not because it's take a lot of damage. And oh no! A repellent from Pap and a team kill from Ark. What just happened? Ladies and gentlemen, three people just died right there because of one Amaru. That was ridiculous. Kai now finally going to get that wall open. And that Mira is going to be taken out. All of this happening within one minute, by the way. Vector just holding down the small closet, doing what he can. Ark. Trying to redeem himself in the pack of archives. Not wanting the team kill any more teammates. And there we go. Power starting us off with a nice kill. That is what we want to see. A lot of the attack here is just really stacked up though. Which is not good. An aggressive swing from Kai. And looks like he's able to plant now if he'd like to. Claymore is going to go down first. Power going to be Iana cloning. And it looks like none of the defense is prepared to stop this. Miz is roaming inside of office, and Ark is all the way back in archives right now. The bomb is planted, and honestly, they're all just going to sit outside armory, so our defense players are going to have to push in here. Checking out SCP, our copper player, holding down outside of armor right now, playing the post plant just fine. Copper going to get a nice headshot onto Miz, though, so that's going to leave Ark all on his lonesome against four, and wow, he's going to get 
Two big kills right there. And the Claymore. Oh my god, he almost ran into the Claymore. He's going to try to get this kill onto Copper, who's swinging on metal stairs right now. Is he going to be able to get it? 55 HP left. He's going to swing a down onto Ark. It's all up to Kai in the 1v1, and he's going to win as the time just isn't there for Ark to clutch it out. But a great attempt regardless. Kai going to get that final kill there, but a great attempt by Ark. A nice 3k he picked up. That 2k collab was, was pretty gnarly outside of Armory, but good try by him. Finally, the blue team actually starting with a dub here. Another spawn peak coming out from out, but this time it looks like a lot of the blue team is going to be running straight into the line of sights of him. So we'll see if he's able to get any sort of kills here. Copper being one of the people to swing and yep, he's going to be the first to get taken out. Just not aiming at the right place and out is going to take advantage of that now. I trying to push in towards the armory balcony. It looks like we're going to see a fairly similar push once again. SCP, our copper player, choosing to go lion. I'm interested to see if this is some sort of like team strategy, if they have some sort of rush in mind, because we also see ascends, but we will see what happens here. I'm trying to open up that door into CCs. We actually do have someone playing in there. That's going to be Vector, just prone behind the desk right now, fighting for his life. Nop outside by the East Stairs door. He could possibly get a run out kill here soon. Vector still trying to hold down Armory. Three people from the attack are now trying to push him out. SCP might be able to get this frag here, actually. He's going to be holding the angle. And finally, there we go. Our copper player turning up. Going to take out Vector. And that's going to be the roamer for Orange Team down. Nop, though, is doing what he can to get the refrag onto our copper player. One tap prefire is coming out. He's going to do a little bit of damage onto SCP, but not enough to kill him. But Pap will do enough to down him. Nop is going to go down, and Ark is also potentially going to go down here soon as he's on low HP. I'm not even really sure how. Out is going to try to push up now and possibly contest this kill from happening. Pap is just holding down, waiting, trying to bait someone into pushing in to get the refrag potentially. Kai droning sight now. One's going to be half wall, so they're going to have to find a way to clear him if they want to plant. SCP just holding the angle here. Maybe Wamai will peek and SCP can get the free kill. We'll see what happens. Ark finally going to get a kill onto Power and SCP. Let's go. A kill onto Miz and Pop finally getting that kill onto Nop. So we'd love to see that out getting a kill onto Pap. So the refrags are going out like crazy. It's going to be SCP and Kai. In this 2v2 situation, Ark is all the way back on the Archives desk, just droning. Out is trying to flank right now, and it looks like we could see an engagement between SCP and Out. And wow, the wall bang from Out it, through the break wall is going to take out SCP, and that leaves Kai all alone. But the flick is going to take out Falcon. That's Ark going down. Kai versus Out. Who is going to take it? It's going to be Kai. That's the second round for Blue Team. Well played to Kai. The first thing that Nop did was make a rotate hole and then prone underneath the desk and throw out echo drones. You got to respect it, honestly. You have to respect it. I am very curious to see if Nop is actually able to make it through the whole round and potentially like clutch up here just underneath the desk. That would be really funny. Miz is going to drop a shield now. That way, nope, uh, nope has just like the best possible outcome here just behind that desk. We'll see what happens. I'm a little bit worried. With that shield being there that someone might just need it but we'll see some wall bangs are coming out right now not anyone going to take any sort of damage or anything but miz almost actually getting a kill through the wall here and wow scp our copper player getting the first kill of the round great shot by them to take out miz so that's going to be the ella running inside of the tension being taken out oh this is the reason for the shield nope is going to be sitting just behind the shield on this pixel peak power going to be swinging no nades here, so they're not going to be able to blow up that shield. Unfortunate change on Finca. Pap smoking out and now proning into the bomb site. He's going to make a rush play, and oh no, the Echo's going to get taken out, and his place is going to be replaced by Pap. Kai rotating into supply now. What is going on? Power is just inside of sight. The attack can just easily plant right now. Where are the holes from above? Where is everyone at above? Lion Scan needs to come out here from. The copper player and he's going to do that scp bringing out that lion scan and kai gonna grab a nice kill onto vector arc gonna refrag onto power though the bomb still yet to go down kai trying to get it down now scp another kill let's go that's gonna be out being taken out and it's just arc 
who's going to be taken out through the wall now by Pap. Great round by our copper player here. And you can see how just switching up the teams can really, really change the outcome of things. We swapped around the players a little bit. And we're on a new map. And the copper player is now 4-2. That's, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And that's also going to be the blue team leading now. Three and oh, so we'll see if they're able to continue this momentum and bring us to a map number three. And if that's the case, if we do get to a map number three, I'm gonna have to push back my TMs with Six Shot Academy because at 3 p.m. I was supposed to record some TMs with Athena and the Six Shot Academy guys, but it is 2:30 and we might have another map going here. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Or maybe we'll maybe we actually won't do a best of three since the teams are different, huh? Maybe we won't do it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Either way, I'm interested to see how the blue team clutches this out or if they're even able to kai is opening up the wrong side of that closet in my opinion i i think you should open up the other side reinforce that side or place a mirror there or you can place a mirror on this wall too that that's fine but it's probably just gonna get meleeed all right not a bad shot here coming out from kai opening up that bottom of the cc wall that way he's able to see into cc two drones gonna be taken out as well not Good drone usage from the orange team, to say the least. SCP actually placing down all of their utilities, so that is good to see. One thing I'm worried about is they are standing right next to that wall. That is just soft and open right now, but it won't matter as Pap is able to get a kill and not going to go down. And that's your Osa getting taken out fairly quickly. Looks like we're going to see some Flora drones come in now, but those jammers from SCP likely to stop it now. And this is not... Not good if you're the orange team whatsoever. You're probably going to want to try to pivot your attack to an east take. Pap trying to run out and get anything that may have been put on the wall, but there is nothing. I'm not even sure what he's doing right now. Is Sludge could have easily had swung and killed him there. Miz just playing on the edge of that balcony there. Looks like the orange team is going to start rotating off. Vector is going to start pushing in through break room. It would be nice to see them push in through east as if you look at where the blue team is positioned right now. Most of them are positioned for an armory take, and that's where a lot of their utility is as well. So rotating to a office take could be beneficial here. And SCP actually getting a Z ping to his teammate that allowed his teammate to grab a kill there. So very good teamwork by SCP there. Kai going to take a lot of damage here, but he's going to get healed back up to full HP by power. Miz is not going to be able to do that, however, and he's on low HP inside of CC. He's going to have to just rotate off now. As there's nothing he can do. Miz trying to open up the break room wall here. See if he can get any sort of angle into sight. Grenade going to go out, but that probably won't do much of anything. Power going to get a kill onto out. And Kai with a kill into arc. So now it's all up to Miz. And he's in the 1v5. He's going to get one down onto SCP. So our copper player desperately trying to stay alive. And he will as Pop is able to get that last kill. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll probably call it. GG's. SCP going 4-2 and two on the second game. Not bad at all. We had one game where he played not so well and a game where he played pretty well. So all things considered, I think he did pretty decent. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Does SCP deserve to be in a higher rank? Maybe silver, maybe gold, maybe bronze. Let me know down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys join my Discord server with the link in the description. That way you guys are able to play in these videos as well. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.